Now it is time to find out who will be tonight's unexpected star of the show! So every series, we have a young, unexpected star, and we give them the chance to perform on this stage at the London Palladium. But because they're so young, we do things a little bit differently. I surprised 12-year-old Brooke when I was Mystic Mac. <laughs> you may remember that. Anoush was 11 when I was Mario, the Italian waiter. And last series, of course, I was Gavin, the Harry Potter tour guide when I surprised 11-year-old Chloe. So, who is this year's young, unexpected star? And who will I be to surprise them? This is the amazing Sal Panica. She will be our youngest ever unexpected star. Ladies and gentlemen, she is just nine years old. Aww. Why not? It is a huge, huge night for Sal Panica. She has been nominated by her father, Binu, and he is here in the audience with her mother, Ranjita. Binu and Ranjita, give us a stand up and give us a wave. Lovely people. Nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. Okay, so Sal Padika's parents have told us that she often talks about what she wants to do when she grows up. At the moment, it's between singer doctor, scientist, or dancer. So we surprised her by setting up a fun kids experience where she got to try out lots of different jobs. Let's take a look. I am in Barry St. Edmunds. It's Sal Pinica's hometown. She's still at school. In a couple of hours, she will be coming here to what will be a careers castle where she will meet my alter ego, Kenny McDougall. So while I undergo a little transformation, the team get to work on rigging my careers office with secret cameras. Just in time for Salpinika's arrival. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm Kate Dugal, and I'm a careers advisor. And I believe I have an appointment coming up with a certain Salpinika. Hello. Hello. Ah! Hello. Welcome to my office. Nice to meet you. And your name is? Sal Panika. Sal Panika. You call me Sal. Oh, so I think I will. Hello, my name is Kenny McDougall, and this is my office. Take a seat and I'll explain what this is all about. Are you Scottish? I am. I'm from the Highlands. I love your accent. Yes, it's quite intense. Some people don't understand the accent because it's quite thick. If you don't understand my accent, put your hand up and, and just say, I don't understand, OK? Yeah. In fact, I've got a wee subtitles here just to help you along, just to get you in. So, hello! That won't be hello, because not even know that I've said hello. I'm Kenny. That's right, OK. And I am a careers... Advisor, a careers, a careers <laughs> advisor. <laughs> I've got to, <laughs> I've only got to pick the wrong one out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a careers advisor. What do you think that means? What so you, that means, um, you advise people about their, what they want to be when they're older, that's so like a career. That's absolutely right. Okay, let's get stuck in. So, um, I need my assistant for this. So, uh, he's he's here. I think he's in. Neil, are you are you hear me? Yeah. All right. So this. <laughs> this is Neil. Hello. Uh, how are you doing, mate? I'm all right. Hello. 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 Now, Hello. this is Sue, so, and this is her so father, Binu. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you both. Are you okay in there? He, oh, he's actually yeah. fine. No, yeah. no, he's fine. Yeah, I'm fine in there. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. Very caring. Yeah. You, see, you see what I mean? Moments like this. She could be a carer. So, let's have a look. Now, I noticed your hair band there. Your hair is, is important to you. You've made it quite nice, stylish. Do you want to... Okay. And do you style your own hair? Do you... Sometimes. Oh, it looks, it looks good. I'm just going to... Neil, we're just going to try this. Could you pop open the hairdressing the salon, hairdressing please? Salon. Yes, of course I can. <laughs> right. right, so so if you'd like to stand up um, and just... This is now your client in your salon and you are a hairdresser. So just welcome him, sir. Hello. Hello. If you just ask him, say, um, have you come far today? Just a bit of chit chat. Today. Oh yes, yes, a long, long way yeah, from that cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go for a blow dry. So, if you just grab the hair dryer yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, just there, look. All right, and away you go. Oh, there you go. All right. 
Well, oh, that's it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. That's quite extreme. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well done. Hey, we got well you. done, so. There we go. <laughs> no, it's dish. all right. It's no all right. Dish. That was good. That was so good. Um, right, that was fun. Your hair is lovely, but maybe hairdressing not is not going to happen. That's fine. That's fine. This is a process. It's a process. Uh, now, I'm focusing here, so on your caring. And I wonder if you could be an instructor. Oh, yeah. I think we should try this, Neil. Yeah. Can we try skydiving instructor? Yes, good idea. <laughs> That's a good idea. There we go, skydiving instructor. There you go, you stand yourself up, look. So, so there you go, there's, there's your... we, we don't try this with many, but this is oh, to, shoot, it's just because we're trying to, you know, eliminate things and... So There's we're going goggles for you. There you go. You pop them on. So this is like role play now. So basically, what you're going to do, if you sit on the box, you sit there. Those are your parachutes uh, behind you in your backpacks. And Neil, right? You are going skydiving for the first time, and you don't want to go, but your instructor. So what you have to do is calm him down. Okay, you're on the aeroplane. You're about to jump off. Go on, Neil. Ah! Oh, no, no, I don't want to go. Oh, no, please don't, baby. Please, don't. it's too far. I mean, ah, 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 ah. All you have to do is close your eyes. Close my eyes. Ah, I'm so ah, 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 ah. Close your eyes. Open. Now you're not up in the sky. Right. You're on the ground. Right, I'm on the ground. Yes. I'm on the ground. Yeah. 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 All right, now, so. Yeah. Tell him you, he's got to jump now. Jump. What? Now? Yeah. Push him off, so. Oh, Just push him out. So, so you jump off. Jump out. There you go. Hold his hand. You're free for. You're flying. You're flying. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, sorry, we haven't used that in a while. You looked after you me were then, amazing. thank you. You sit yourself back down. So, that was absolutely brilliant. What a lovely person you are. Right, so your birthday is December 22nd. Yeah. You're going to be 10 years old, double figures. Yeah. Will you be getting a birthday cake? Um, yeah. Last year, did you get a birthday yeah, cake? a really big one. And uh, you were nine years old? Nine years old right now. If my calculations are correct, you would have received nine candles last year on your cake, is that correct? Just a number, a no, number candle. Different number of candles, but just a, a number, number. number shaped One candle. candle with the number on it, incredibly yes. cost effective. So, when you were confronted with the burning candle, um, how did you react? Blew it out as soon as I got the chance. You blew it out as soon as you got the chance. I think you might be good at this. I'm going over to the firefighter draw. Right, okay, this. Do you mind, so if you just pop this on, this is a firefighter's jacket. Yes. Right. This is a firefighter's helmet. Pop that on, that actually fits you absolutely perfectly. All I'm gonna ask you to do, stand in the middle of the rug there. I just want you to look around you, Sai, si, for fire. Is anything on fire? Can you smell fire? A firefighter would be able to smell fire. I smell fire! I think I smell fire! 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 Enjoy yourself, so it, it, there's a few cinders. It's oh. not out yet. Oh. It's not completely oh. out. Because <laughs> you can make sure, because sometimes a fire can come back to life. Oh. So just make sure that it's completely out. <laughs> All right, if you take off your, your helmet and we'll pop that back in the drawer. How fun was that? Okay, just pretend this is, I'm just gonna try a little thing. It gets me into train, just this is a train announcement. Just pop that on the table there. 
Right, but this isn't amplified. Just lean in as if you're making a train announcement and just say, this is the 345 service to Edinburgh. This is the 345 service to Edinburgh. That's lovely. I love what you do. You do have a nice voice. Let me just have that back for a second. You do you have a fantastic, you have a nice, nice tone. You've got a nice tone to your voice. I'm gonna just grab my wee guitar here. I'm just, I don't, I'm just gonna play a note and if you can replicate it by singing it, like the tone, like wah, just whatever you hear, so. Hiding, so <laughs> this is remarkable. So, I can tell you categorically that you are going to be a singer. I think you're going to be a singer. Yeah, I think you're going to be a singer. Yeah. Do you like singing? Yeah, I love singing. I think you're going to be a singer on, on TV. Yeah, I think you're going to be on TV. Oh. And I can actually go one further today. I think you're going to be a singer on TV this Saturday. I think you're going to be on a TV show <laughs> called Michael McIntyre's Big Show. I think you're going to be on my show. I think, I think probably this weekend. I think, I really think we can make that happen. Having heard your voice. Because I am Michael McIntyre. <laughs> And you, Sal, are going to be the unexpected star of my TV show. Because we've all been watching you. <laughs> oh, Sal. Look, I'm not an old Scottish man. I'm quite a handsome young English man. Sorry, Alan, which is brilliant. Well done, well done. So, Sal. You're going to come to the London Palladium on Saturday and you're going to sing a song for the audience. But you have to agree to come down. You'd be our youngest ever unexpected star of the show. Would you like to come and do that on Saturday? Yes. Yay! Yay. She's going to do it. So many good ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome. There's your parents over there. I can't believe you're only nine years old. Tell me about that day with Kenny. <laughs> I thought his nose was pretty weird. Yes. <laughs> it was a fake nose, wasn't it? Yeah. It had a wee kink in it, like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was your favourite job that you did? Pretend job. It was definitely the firefighting job. Yeah, that was, that, was super, that was super fun. I kind of enjoyed that too. Mm -hmm. And you enjoyed shooting the water <laughs> yeah, definitely. Is singing something you, you really love? Yes. OK, because we've sort of committed to singing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to tell you something, Nika. You are possibly the sweetest person I've ever met in my life. Um, you're absolutely adorable. Everybody here is so rooting for you. We can't wait to hear you sing. We want you to have such a special night tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, is that right? <laughs> We're so behind you. Go get him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our unexpected start of tonight's show. She'll be performing at the end of it. Sal Paniga! <laughs> Be good. See you later. Good luck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, earlier tonight we met Sal Panika, who is our youngest ever unexpected star of the show. I surprised her when I was disguised as Kenny, the career's advisor, and told her she was destined to be a singer on this show. Now, with the help of our team, she's been preparing for her big moment on the London Palladium stage. So let's have a little look at how she's been getting on. And your name is? After school. My mum and dad told me there's a children's career day. Michael McIntyre was um, Kenny, and um, he had a Scottish accent, so he thought he was Scottish. I think you're going to be on a TV show called Michael McIntyre's Big Show. When Michael peeled off his um, like this disguise, it was like 
I was dumbstruck and shocked and, well, I felt like I was going to faint straight away. You'd be our youngest ever unexpected star of the show. Would you like to come and do that on Saturday? Yes. Yay! I am really prepared for tonight. I think it's going to be really nice to have such a big crowd, so it's going to be really exciting. I'm really going to enjoy it. Singing her favourite song, please welcome our youngest ever unexpected star of the show. It's nine-year-old Salpanika! The incredible Salpanika, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, guys! What a pilot! That was amazing, wasn't it, ladies? That what? Brought the house down! <laughs> Unbelievable. How'd you feel, Dad? That must have been a very proud moment. What? What extraordinary. Yes. Mum's lost it. Mum's lost it. <laughs> and I don't blame you. How did it feel to sing for all these people? It's a dream come true. It is. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you so much for nominating her. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our fantastic, youngest ever, unexpected star of the show. <laughs> Only nine years old. It's the amazing Sapanika.